Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to backup and restore your iPhone in a very easy, convenient way by using your Mac only. And it's very simple and easy. And this is the latest technique you can use it to do this thing. At first, we need to connect our iPhone uh, to our Mac computer by cable. And after the connection, we just need to open the Finder. Once you connect the cable, just open Finder. Here is the Finder. You can click here and Finder will be opened like this way. Now, if your iPhone is connected with your Mac, you'll find somewhere here your iPhone. So for me, the iPhone is like iPhone few steps. I'm going to show you again. I'm going to disconnect my iPhone from by using uh, from the cable. And here, see, it gone. Now I'm going to connect it again with the cable. And very shortly, you'll see it will be appeared like this. So iPhone few steps, right? So at first, we need to click here to access my iPhone. And once you click here, it will be showing like this. Now first, let's take the backup. This is my iPhone. Here, all the details are there. Now to take the backup, we have to come to general, this tab. And then we have to find backups. Okay, once you find the backups, you need to do something here. Don't choose this option, choose the second option. Because we are pl planning to backup our iPhone or iPad to our local Mac computer. You can do it iCloud also, but it is expensive and you have to pay a lot of money for doing that every month you have to pay for iCloud backup because if you have more than like one terabyte or big size of files over there or maybe movie file then it's not feasible to take backup an iPhone to cloud because it takes some time if you want to spend some money you can do that but for me I am going to choose this option which is free and you don't have to pay any single penny backup all the data on your iPhone to this Mac and then we have to press this button backup now there is a checkbox encrypt local backup. If you want to take the backup by a password protected way, then you can choose this thing. But I'm not going to do this thing. But if you want to do, you can use that. So here is the backup now button. To take the backup, we just need to click here. And once you click here, you'll see a progress bar will be approaching like this way. And you'll see the details backing up iPhone few steps. So this is the phone it is taking backup. And depending on the storage space, whatever you are using, it will take some time. For my case, it is very fast because this is almost brand new stage. There is nothing, only a couple of pictures or a couple of applications are installed over there. That's why it is fast. Okay, so now backup is done. So how we can verify that whether the backup is done or not? Here is the way. Last backup to this Mac today, 2.15 p.m. And here it is the time, 2.16 p.m. So that means it took backup just now. Okay, so this is the confirmation message. It is able to successfully take the backup. And moreover, if you click manage backups, you'll see the list of backups over there. If you take your iPhone backup every day like this, you can also manually delete the old backups if you don't need, so that you can save some space on your hard disk. So for my case, I see only one backup is there. And then just press OK button. So our backup is done. Okay, now we need to restore this backup okay so now i'm going to show you whether this is able to uh, restore uh, this technique i mean if we apply this uh, technique whether we will really be able to restore our iphone or not so i'm going to uh, op uh, like broadcast my iphone in this right side and you'll see that very shortly now here you are seeing this is my iphone skin on the right side okay and here you see that there is like on picture is there right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this picture. So what I can do, I can click here and I'm going to delete, delete photo. I deleted it. This thing also I'm going to delete this picture. Uh, or is that delete, delete. So there is nothing in the phone. I mean the photo, right? So I removed everything. Now I will restore those things. We have our iPhone backup. Now let's do one thing. Let's reset our iPhone. So I'm going to reset my iPhone to factory reset so that it will be removed everything and it will be like brand new iPhone. So once you buy any phone from Apple or from some company or from somebody, definitely there is nothing. It's like completely blank phone, right? So we'll make our phone like that type of factory reset. And then we'll check whether we can push the update. I mean, not the update, the backup to the new iPhone. So let's do that thing. So let's get started. So this is uh, the iPhone main screen. 
so we have to tap on the settings here there is a settings the settings uh, icon may be in different pages uh, you just need to find the settings and then tap on the settings then it will open this type of menus all menus are there but i'm not interested to go all of them we just need to go to general section this is a general menu uh, to reset the phone i'm going to tap it and then here you'll find lots of menus are there again so you have to come down at the bottom and you'll see shutdown just before shutdown there is transfer or reset iphone we are planning to reset the phone right so we have to tap it over there transfer and reset and it will bring two options at the bottom reset erase all contents and settings our plan was to do a factory reset right so we have to tap the last one erase all content and settings once you tap it here it will give you this option erase this iphone then there is some information erasing will sign out of your apple account and remove your personal data so this phone or ipad can be safely traded in or given away the following items will be safely removed from the phone so what things will be removed here they mentioned like apps and data those will be removed apple account that will be removed and find my that is the activation lock that will be also removed so what you need to do we just need to tap on the continue button to continue the reset process so i'm going to tap on the continue and here it is asking again are you sure you want to erase all media content and settings this cannot be undone yes i want to and before restarting this tutorial i also already mentioned you uh, after reset you will lose all the data so take a backup of all of your data if you need those then tap on erase iphone i'm going to tap on top of erase iphone and it will bring like this apple account password now it is asking that i already have an apple account logging on this phone it is asking the password uh, so that it will be removed everything and here they mentioned enter the apple account password for hello few steps at icloud.com to turn off find my and activation log so i'm going to tap i mean type my password over here once the correct password for icloud account has been entered then it's time to press the turn off button and to reset our iphone so i just finished typing over there and then i'm going to tap on turn off button the turn off button is located at the top right corner and once you type it tap it basically you need to wait for a few seconds because it will take some time to restart or take the uh, to check the password and then your phone is going to come like this way and very shortly your phone skin will be disappeared in your phone you will see that it is rebooting or some apple icon is there now you will not see anything just wait for a few minutes it will take like hardly three to five minutes once the research is done successfully then you will see this type of screen so that means your iphone is reset completely and here if you touch your iphone then it will show you like to the language something like that which is the initial status uh, when you purchase a phone and you just turn it on after turning it on uh, you will see this screen now we have a phone which is like factory reset phone and there is nothing we made our phone like that way now our plan is to restore that backup which it took earlier to this phone i mean to push it and so that we can actually restore everything so let's see how we can do step by step so in this phone i'm going to restore from a, an old backup so at first we need to connect our iphone with the computer that means with our mac and then we need to open the finder so here is the finder i'm going to tap it or click it then the finder application will be opened like this so now you will see on the left side there is a couple of menus if my phone is connected with my computer or mac then we'll see like this iphone and if we click here we'll see the details of this iphone and very shortly it is showing uh, like this to our message activating and this is the thing is looping like that okay and here it is coming like this and here my phone is already connected here you are seeing so here it is coming connecting uh, it is asking the language so what we can do we need to restore from the backup i already have a backup on this mac computer if you don't know how to take the backup of your phone i or ipad i already have tutorial on my channel you can check from there also so restore from this backup so from here we have to choose the phone so i already have this backup it is showing iphone first days this phone i took backup before like 2 50 p.m 15 p.m today it is showing right now it is time 3 1 
so like few minutes before like like one hour you can say i took the backup uh, from one of my phone and i'm going to restore to this phone so now what you need to do we need to choose the backup right now i have only one backup that's why it is showing on backup but for your case if you take like multiple backups it will show every backup over there as a list you have to choose the backup which you want to restore so i just choose on because i have only one and then we have to press the continue button so i'm going to click here continue button but i'm not touching anything in my phone see here it is coming like that i'm not doing anything and now you will see the message restoring iphone fiestas from backup so it is actually trying to restore and here in the app, uh, iphone you will see restore in progress this type of message so don't touch it just wait few minutes it will take some time based on the backup size if your iphone has like one terabyte of uh, data or backup then definitely it will take some time but for my case it is not that much data is lo uh, loaded it has only very few data over there so it will take less time so once the restore is done then you will see you'll see uh, this type of screen so during this backup time don't uh, try to disconnect your iphone or don't try to close this uh, window basically if you do this thing it will basically take some time and you need to redo it again so i prefer uh, don't touch it let it sit for a couple of minutes uh, to complete the restore and to get the confirmation message see here i'm not doing anything i just choose the uh, restore backup and then i linked it and then i press uh, like start button to start uh, like restore from the backup and i'm not doing anything i just connected my phone with a cable with my mac computer and it is doing everything for me and here you will see the progress bar also there so see here is the progress bar it's almost done this is also a progress bar so we are seeing it's almost done so we have to wait till it finished during this restore time you will see your phone screen will be like this type of black color and there will be a progress bar it will complete uh, like uh, time to time and continuously it will be updated and once the update is done completely the phone again it will re reboot don't panic here and don't disconnect your iphone to your uh, computer that means you're from your mac or ipad also don't disconnect if you are using ipad to do the same method and once the backup is done basically it will uh, reboot everything so my preference is or i want to tell you don't touch the iphone uh, just keep it there and the restore time it will take it varies based on the backup size if the backup size is higher or larger then definitely it will take more time if the backup size is smaller then it will take less time so it depends on the backup size to restore and once the restore is done then you will see like this type of screen and once the restore process is done then it will show like this type of screen and here in your phone you will see like iphone few steps is showing like this that means your phone is ready now you need to unlock your phone by tapping and then you have to uh, like you will see the message like restore completed apps and data will continue downloading in the background so you have to wait uh, till it finished downloading and then there is a continue button i'm going to tap the continue button to go to next step and here it is asking to connect the wi-fi so i'm going to connect my wi-fi so this is my wi-fi i'm going to tap it and then i'm going to connect the wi-fi and very shortly you will see it will be connected and here if it is not connected then you just need to type the password for your wi-fi and then it's asking face id i'm going to ignore it right now so i'm tapping setup letter not here setup letter i will set up letter and jet iphone uh, passcode i i'm also ignoring this thing by pressing password option and i'm going to use don't use password and then it will be ignored don't use passcode again and then here you're asking apple account now we need to put the uh, apple account password over here basically so this is the apple account i have so i'm going to type my password over here once i type the password then tap on the continue button to go to the next step and if the password is correct you'll see it is asking two-factor authentication for other device so i have two uh, two-factor authentication enabled for my uh, phone basically so over there i will see there i have to uh, type the code over there so i'm going to type that code which is 415507 and once i type it it will come like this way signing in then we have to agree this thing i'm going to tap agree 
and here it is showing few steps signing in location service i'm going to set up later i'm going to choose last option i'm going to press ok and then it will be ignored and then analytics i don't want to share so i'm going to choose don't share and then here it is showing welcome to iphone that means our iphone restore is done then it is asking to save the and save it so my iphone actually restore is done uh, and here you will see the this uh, like these applications are downloading in the background it will take some time but it's downloading see here it is finishing and if you go to the photos you will see some photos are there one or two photos are there see here there is one photo and there is another photo so this comes from the restore basically last from the last backup and that's it guys in this way we can easily backup our phone regularly or weekly and also if we need to restore we can easily restore that backup to our iphone or if we buy a new iphone we can restore all the old phone backup everything over there that's it guys thank you for watching the video if you have any question or if you face any problem or any type of issue just put in the comment section